but we're gonna have to explore. We uncover the sea water, so you know, it's gonna make. But this, I want it down. Well, this is our dump site here in southern Utah. We've been here working for about a week and we've done a fair amount of progress. Today, I, I felt that we kind of like catched up with the what I wanted, uh, where I wanted to be um, a week after we arrived. Quite a lot of uh, uncovering of bones and uh, removing overburden. We got a new tool with, that works really well, a new jackhammer that really breaks the rock with power. and. We have uncovered a number of fossils, mostly from sauropods, long necks. There's a thigh bone, a sacrum, a number of tail vertebra, some foot bones as well. You know, it's just coming together. You have to remember that this is not a single skeleton. This is a, an accumulation of multiple parts of the skeletons of different animals. Really. The progress, but it is an amazing site and a very unique site in many ways. The interesting accumulation it has, and it has some some animals that are not very common. It potentially has some new species, although we have to work more on on determining that and uncovering more. And it's very unique from a, a depositional point of view, from the point of view of how the sediments accumulated and the environment those sediments uh, represent. I have I brought here people who do work on on just that so not in the uh, uh, on dinosaurs necessarily but on the environments in which dinosaurs lived and how they became entombed and so on and they all feel that this is a very unique place this dig has multiple goals it has research goals it has mentoring and training of all sorts of people people who work for the museum in other capacity students, volunteers, people who in one way or another will interact with the public and hopefully will convey the hands-on experiences that they gain uh, here, has the goal of building our collection. And I think that building a collection is important, not just because the research that we do is based on that collection, but also because of the educational programs that uh, we do are in some way based on that, sometimes more directly, sometimes more indirectly, but ultimately looking at the collection, find the ideas, their manifestations of the collection that we have. The Dinosaur Hall at the Natural History Museum in LA is, is the most rewarding thing I have done in my professional career. I feel very privileged that I had the opportunity of doing something like that, and I feel very pleased that the result was such a such a great thing. I worked very hard, extremely hard, probably as I'd never uh, worked in my entire life. But I also had the fortune of working with a number of people who were great and we had a wonderful team working uh, for a good number of years. The Dinosaur Hall was an incredibly rewarding experience. Field work is my passion. I enjoy here being here in this beautiful scenery and working with people that share with me those interests. I'm very passionate about discovering those things, discovering animals that lived a hundred or more million years ago.